Okay, welcome back. Very fast follow-up. Might as well finish this. Uh, I don't really care about this theorem uh, so much, um, but it, uh, the discussion introduces some concepts that are important uh, for the next section, so it's a good time to do it, I think. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, we have seen um, that for n equals 2, uh, we cannot find a pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 2. We found for n equals 3 that we can find a pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares, uh, 3 by 3 Latin squares. Um, for uh, n equals 4, we have found um, a set of 3 mutually orthogonal Latin squares. Uh, and the question is, does this um, generalize uh, to n minus 1? Uh, can we always find uh, n minus 1 mutually uh, mutually uh, orthogonal Latin squares of order n? And the answer is no. Um, but uh, n minus 1 is the best we can hope for. Okay, uh, why? Well, uh, what I started to say at the end of the previous video, but which was perhaps slightly wrong, um, take any Latin square. Uh, the defining property of a Latin square, the row property is that every number appears exactly once in each row, the column property is that every number appears once in each column. Uh, one thing I did say that was true is that you can um, swap any two rows and it will obviously continue to obey the row property and continue to obey the, the column property, so it's still a Latin square. And uh, you can swap any columns and it's exactly the same. Um, but that does mess with the mutual orthogonality. Uh, so that's actually not what we want to do. What we want to do instead is um, do some number swaps. So here, there's nothing particular about these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. I mentioned that at the very, very beginning of the first video is that Gossett is maybe uh, overly specific in demanding that the entries be the numbers um, 1 to n. They could really be anything. Uh, and so um, this 3, 2, 1, 4 is sort of arbitrary. Uh, if I were to uh, universally replace uh, 2 and 3, for example, uh, with each other, then, uh, well, it would still be a Latin square, of course, because, because duh, and in the columns as well, um, but also it would not change the mutual orthogonality with any other Latin square, because if every 2 is replaced with a 3 and every 3 with a 2 in one Latin square, well, then, um, the ordered pairs are just simply not going to repeat because where there was a, a three something, there will now be a two something, where there was a two something, there'll be a three something. Uh, so, from this, uh, with this insight, what we may now do is, uh, so this is sort of a lemma, I guess, we're doing it first. This is Gossett's um, presentation, very long-winded. He says, okay, consider these three mutually orthogonal Latin squares uh, of, order, uh, of order four. Just Take my word for it that they're mutually orthogonal. We may force these three mutually orthogonal Latin squares to have the same uh, initial uh, first row. And in fact, we may uh, insist that the first row be anything we want. Let's say one, two, three, four. Uh, and so what we're now going to do is, oh man, he, he walks us through this. He says, okay, um, replace one, three, one, four, one, two. So uh, one uh, and three are going to change places. 1 and 4 are going to change places, and 1 and 2 are going to, to change places. That produces a new Latin square. Okay, this is just terrible. Please watch this on 5 times speed. Uh, what does this uh, do? This, we just get a new Latin square, and everywhere there was a 3, there's now, there's now a 1. So, um, uh, so 1, 2, and everywhere there was, so that's 3, 4, and, um, oh my god, 2, 1, Four, three, got to be a faster way to do this, three, four, one, two, and um, maybe I should just copy off of, off of what he does, then I don't even have to do the, the substitutions, four, three, two, one. Uh, okay, uh, and this is now going to be one, four, two, three, and three, two, four, one. Uh, four, one, four, one, three, two, and two, three, one, four. Uh, okay, and uh, in each case, by performing this, uh, sub this sort of uh, substitution of one number for another, 
then uh, we get a new Latin square, but um, it preserves the orthogonality with any of the previous Latin squares. And so, after step one of this process, uh, 3214, 3214, this is exactly what Faust says. This is not particularly a better explanation, but if you don't like to read, uh, okay, so now, if we were to name these three Latin squares something, he calls them, excitingly, L1, L2, and L3. If they are mutually orthogonal, then we have a new Latin square, L1 prime, L2 prime, and L3 prime, <coughs> that are also all mutually orthogonal. And now you have to do this, believe it or not, more times, because now... Uh, we interchange 2 and 4 here, so 2 and 4 are going to change places, and 2 and 4 are also going to change places here. This is the, the, the lamest way uh, I can think of to force the... So, okay, 2, I'll just, once again, I'll just copy, so this becomes 1, 2, 4, 3, um, 3, 4, 2, 1... Um, 2, 1, 3, 4, and 4, 3, 1, 2. Uh, and this becomes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're almost there. 3, 4, 1, 2, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 2, 1, 4, 3. Okay. And uh, finally, I have only one more thing to do, which is to replace 3 and 4 uh, in this middle one, so this he calls naturally L2 prime, uh, L2 double prime, this is just still L1 prime, this is L3 double prime, and now finally we get L2 triple prime, which is uh, the, the final stage. Okay, so all of this um, is, yeah, this is very tedious, two and four, three. Um, but what we now have, the, the, big, the big picture, I guess, is that uh, this, this lemma has now been, been proven. What is the lemma? The lemma is that if you have three Latin squares of, if you have three mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order four, then it is possible to convert those three mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order four into uh, into uh, a pair of three mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order four, in which the first row is one, two, three, four. And now we shall uh, claim that there cannot possibly be yet another mutually orthogonal Latin square of order four. Um, also beginning with 1, 2, 3, 4. And if there can't be one beginning with 1, 2, 3, 4, then there can't be one, then there can't be four at all. Um, because if you had four to begin with, you could convert them via this process into four, which all started with 1, 2, 3, 4. And why is it impossible to find uh, another um, uh, mutually orthogonal Latin square? Well, the answer is you already have, by virtue of superimposing uh, sort of um, uh, these Latin squares on top of each other, you've already, with respect to, let me just draw a line now, because these are the, these are the three Latin squares we're, we're talking about. If you compare these two Latin squares, we've already used up ordered pair 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4, and also when these, when these two get, get superimposed, and when these two get superimposed, the fact that the first row is 1, 2, 3, 4 means that we've already used up ordered pairs 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. So now it comes to what number goes here. Well, here, what number, the question is, we, we, we fail at the very first step. What number can go right here in this, I'll put an X here, in the first entry in row two of this supposed uh, fourth mutually orthogonal Latin square? And the answer is, it can't be a one, of course, because there's already one in that column. Could it be a two? Well, if there were a two, then, uh, when comparing this, let's call it L4 square, to the first square, you will see that there is a, now a repeat of the ordered pair 2-2, two, two, but the ordered pair 2-2 two, two already exists here. Could it be a 3? No, because if you put a 3 here, 
then when comparing this Latin square, this square 4, to this square, we see that we've now used uh, the ordered pair 3, 3 a second time. And uh, it can't be a 4 here, uh, because if that were a 4, then we would be already reusing ordered pair 4, 4, and ordered pair 4, 4 has already been used. And so, this just can't happen. And that is why you can have, at most, uh, n minus 1, uh, mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order, four, of, uh, of order n. And, uh, okay, so now some facts. Um, maybe I'll actually leave it at that. Okay, goodbye.